Golf hair! Diabolical. Three whole engines. Yeah, so we had. Well, we'll start with where it all went wrong. I had. 1980. Birth. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had a perfectly working SR, had it for seven years, um, running ballpark three and draws. Um, sold it to fund a forged engine, which was not built by me, and that's as far as we'll take that story. Um, fitted it. Happy, running, working great. Uh, fitted a TDO6 turbo, was not chasing power, just wanted it. Uh, gave it to somebody to do some stuff with. It exploded in a catastrophic fashion. Uh, knocking, instant turn of the key. Bad knocking. I'm not um, Then, the, I think it was two days before, um, then I Took it back out, drove all the way down to Dave. He put new bearings in it, shut the crank, all fine. Brought it back up, put it back in. Um, then I realized that when I put the oil feed in, someone had helicoiled it at some point, incredibly badly, um, and stripped the threads out of the block and ended Matsori November 90, I don't know. That last year, all one shit show stuff. What'd you look at this? It's terrible. I mean, it's not as bad as mine. I mean, rock wise. No, these. Look are... at these. You hear that? that That's the sound of metal. Metal. <laughs> Some metal. Can you smell the fuel? Oh, God, yeah. What's on as well? Is that. Is That's that... the, the charger for the battery. Right. Um, Sparks, fuel cup. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, so, I just changed um, the fuel pump. It's fucking. So uh, this subframe, where did this subframe come from? Because I'm pretty certain this isn't the subframe that your car came with, is it? Or is it? No, this is the subframe that my car came with. There was one that was on the floor of the unit that was bright orange, which went into the shell that got sold. Oh, um, yes. Yeah, yeah, but no, this is the original subframe that probably came with the car. I'm not yeah. too sure. You've got subframe risers here. Yeah, so subframe the, uppers. The You've got, uh, these, were, these are new. These are uh, hard, S solid. Solid subframe bushes from the diff. And rear. So you're going you're gonna to blow the diff up any, anytime soon. Yeah. Right. Um, and they came with the diff. So right. I'll just, the, the thing is, people aren't mad keen on the solid subframe uh, bushes for diffs because well, people like to give the diff a little bit of a... A little bit of motion, a bit of movement, and then um, when you put the solid boys in, you can sometimes. But these look like they've got like a rubber insert, or is that is that mm -hmm. just me seeing? Things? No, it's just you blind. You've got glasses on. We just take these off. Mm. Um, yeah. No, they they came with it, and they look kind of cool, so I'll put them on. They look good, um, but they'll probably blow your diff up. Anyway, um, is so this, is this new, two new, new news. So yeah, two way now uh, was originally a VLSD that was shimmed. That was a good um, shim, that. It was a good shim. Um, and it had a Skyline 4-1 crown and pinion in it. Um, it was great diff, never had a problem. Mm. Uh, I'm changing it for a two-way. Not sure if I'm going to like it. What, uh, what ratio? 4-1, uh, again. Oh, okay. um, it's now got 5 by one drive shafts because... Because uh, more, more power, power baby. baby! That's terrible. We've stolen <sighs> the thing off somebody sorry, else. Sorry, don't... Um, I'll be able to see this. It's weird. In the process uh, of changing uh, to 5 by ones it's now got rear Geomasters. Um, and Geo2s! Geo2s. Is it Geo2s? Geo2s, yeah, black ones. Yeah, okay. Black ones. Uh, and CS2s. Um, CS2s. Shout out we're like We're like a, we're like a, we're like a, an advert for Driftworks. For Driftworks, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's now got a Walbro 400 LPH Bro. tank. Uh, in tank pump. Walbro? Instead of a 255. I didn't even know they did 400s on other line. I didn't either. Yeah, it was Dan who said. Dan's just like, yeah, hey, why, why, why are you boys. fucking around with these shit fucking little... <laughs> <laughs> these little weak ass yeah. pumps. Um, anyway, um, so you got five by ones. You got your solid diff boys. Yeah, uh, you got some. Way. These all look like Jap Speed arms. Yes, they are Jap Speed. They've been on the car for about five, years, no, four years now. They still, to be fair, are pretty brand new. They haven't really done much road driving. It's predominantly been so, track, so, so yeah. yeah. And the the one of the threads folded on the camber arms, but we had. Um, oh, we used one of mine. Yeah, we, yeah, have, we did. Because I've, I've got part uh, shot max now. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, because yeah. I, I ran mine inverted. Yes. Because I'm an idiot. Yeah. Um, I ran mine inverted, and then I, I definitely didn't do any illegal modifications to the <laughs> chassis rails so that I could run the car really, really low and have the, the camber arms do this 
instead of anyway nobody cares um so you've got the the camera arms in the right direction yeah. and they're kinking away from the cv joints so that when your car does do a squat it doesn't immediately destroy, destroy the cv them. boots and joints yeah cool the only thing that i would have liked to have done was to narrow the lower arms oh, i have yeah. i have, have you... removed the rear anti-roll bar okay uh, i may still do them because i have got a spare have you got so. a decent cs2s on as well i do yeah um, um so so you, I, I thought we, we were all running the, the shortened rear no one. i'm the only one that's not I know, I know. In the store. <laughs> uh, available in, the, they're not even available in the no. store anymore because, um, why are they available in the store? We, probably we don't, do I haven't had any made. No, we need to. We need to have some made and I'll put some on my car. And Dan, Dan should up. probably make some. Yeah. Dan um, was really good at making them. Hey Dan. This is Angle Iron. Yeah. Made to look like a gearbox mount for a CD09 to it attach to an S4. Works. works quite well, I think. Well, it looks like it works quite well. Especially this bit here where it's, it's not quite touching. It's fine, um, fine But all this is originally, especially these grinding marks here where the gearbox has ground itself flat. So if anyone's ever considering doing a CD09 gearbox swap, it, the one thing and that you run your will, car and low. your car will low, yeah. Um, you will see here, half of this bolt is kind of on its way to Oh yeah, look at that. Gone. He's, had a, he's um, had a real good time there. It's not so much a problem for actual track driving. It's more when I leave the track, which happens often shall we say. Um, the car is fairly solid. Let's move forwards. Yes. We've got a, so this, this subframe, is, this front subframe is a completely bespoke part from Dan Pryor, destroy or and, and or die. And or died. Destroy and or die. And he's made this complete from scratch. It's designed to do multiple things. Uh, first thing is to move the steering rack further forwards. Uh, which basically it's supposed to stop the wheels from uh, going over center, or sorry, it's to stop the rack arms from going over center, which is where you see any old drifting from, uh, well, any old drifting, <laughs> uh, where there's been very little mods made to steering. You'll notice like the wheels sometimes do this on full lock, especially if they're being pulled or pushed, full lap push, or pushed past. Uh, so it's designed to stop that from happening. Anyway, um, so that's the that's the bit where it's been pushed forwards. But then it's also unlike any other mm. subframe. I've ever seen or done anything with. Well, it's 40 mil forward. That's is it 40 mil 40 forward? Because I think mine's 25 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you've got the older it's not a style. Huge amount. Yeah, yeah, it's like a stock. No, I think yours was the max that you could physically go that Dan said, which is 28 Honest. mil. Oh, was it 28? So that's kind of standard subframe that's moved. Right. But it makes it very difficult to get those back bolts in. That was that's it. the yeah, problem. Yeah, you have yeah. to put them in and then almost weld them in place. But the, the other thing with this is that the whole subframe is physically. It's higher, isn't it? Because your yeah. engine, I mean, so you get these spaces uh, yeah, where you, you can the... determine the, the height of the engine. So you can, if you want to run your car low, i.e. avoid smashing Stuffy sumps stuffs. and things and stuff in the way and what have you, you can, you can adjust the height of the subframe um, with these little spaces here. So you can go, how high can you go? Like 70 mil? Um, Is it 70 mil the height? Oh no, not 70 mil. I think the, the, the raise overall was 27 mil. Right, okay, and you can so, take that out. Yeah, so that's the overall raise, right, but yeah, then yeah. obviously if you're running a hard race mount like we are, that's an additional 10, I believe. Oh yeah, so you have to do Yeah, so you have to maths. start working out where your do a mounts math. are going. I've got a 20 mil down yep. with a hard race mount, again from Driftworks, which is a 10 mil raise, and that's it, so. This is, this is, this is, this is a lovely place to be. I mean, I say that because all the other times we've been under your car, it's been a fucking mess. Horrible place to be, so. Yeah. Covered in oil and shit and AIDS, and just crap falling on your face. It's quite nice. I mean, granted, yeah. there is a, there's a, there's a fuel breather that's just, just chilling onto the floor, which is, not the best place to have that sort of thing. Sure, if I have um, fire, it'd be What else have we got under here? We've got, we've got um, the destroy or destroy die. Destroy knuckles. Now, is, is this, the, is this the, the, the drop knuckle? Yes, so this is the yeah. full, essentially the fr full front end uh, that Dan will do. It's drop knuckle, um, lower arms, which are strengthened and scalloped for oh, yeah. more That's this movements. They have a little bit of an indent where your uh, steering arm knuckle, the ball joint will literally just rotate straight in to give you just that. Mm. And, it, and it's not made from a standard mount, uh, a standard it's arm. Completely it's completely one bespoke piece yeah. of. Um, it's very very thin, but yeah. very very strong. It's thin but strong. Yeah. Yeah. Um, still have the front anti-roll bar, uh, which is a white line, big thick old boy, which has been on there for a considerable mm. amount of years. Painted red because yeah. red's obviously the fastest, fastest color. Um, 
I don't, I don't, you don't see these much really. They're, they're super locked tension arms from Jap Speed, and they are, oh yeah, like really out of the way. They, and they, I don't they, even know if they make them anymore, but I've not seen them for a while. You normally just see kinked or curved, mm. but they're like boomerangy boys. They put it so you're almost behind where the uh, oh yeah, so you're gonna, you're gonna you're definitely gonna hit the anti roll bar before, way before you hit anything else. Yeah. So yeah. Um, that's probably a good, good amount of lock. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Dave. You solved a lot of my problems. Um, we were talking earlier about how many engines I've actually blown up, and there was also a couple of other engines in there that never actually made it into the car, but that I purchased that were shit. Um, more of that later. Uh, so, Dave, off of DY Engine Services. Dave Yandel, good as Engine boy. Services. That's actually his last name, Engine mm, Services. Engine services. Yeah. Um, provided us with this lovely engine. Um, We'll go through a quick, brief thingy. Um, should we do a list? We'll do a list. List here. Yeah. Um, it's easier than just talking about it. It's got some good stuff in it. Expensive good stuff. That's what I did, I right? Yeah. yeah, really, really good. Yep. Yeah. Um, then we've got some real... Now, what a lot of people do is they stick with the old tech. Z32 maths, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I've decided to get rid of all of that shit. Um, I've done... Not all right, core packs, but the black ones because they look nicer and they're exactly the same. Uh, and I've done something called a PMAS. Now, it's not a premenstrual something cycle. Um, that is a math that lives in this pipe here. Uh, reads good stuff, reads good and well. Right, okay, so that's because I, I kind of wanted to do yeah. this, but I didn't know what it was. So, usually, your math lives around about here. Yeah, yeah. But just in front of the turbo, right? And um, that's reading pre tarbo, pre pre compressed air, pre compressed air, yeah. right? So is this not a math sensor? No, it's still a math sensor, but it it's a blow through. You see, because the problem Something. is uh, the, the problem. It's very got, good. The problem you've got is with the Z thirty twos, although they're, they're plentiful, although they're extremely expensive. And yeah. um, the Z thirty twos are this horrible, horrible thing where. When you let off, they, they, they'll, they'll read in both directions. That's another failure of them. So if you can turn them around, they'll still read. No, but I thought perfectly. that they don't read in both directions. That's so when you stall, they, the air coming backwards will fault the reading. And then or maybe that was it. It won't read backwards, whereas a blow through will read backwards. See, because if you, ha if you had... We a, don't know a single thing. We're making it up as we go yeah. along. Um, it's very good. It's very expensive. It's great. It's, is it an R35? Is that a GTR? So 35? it's the same kind of cartridge style that you'll find on a Z34? Three, no, a 370. Z34. Z34, Z34 yeah. yeah. Uh, and a R35. Now, the reason this is better than all of those is they will top out, I think it was 380 on Jamie's car, or oh, 360. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have a scaling range and they will only make a certain amount of power they no matter what you do after that they will not make a single right. bit more well they, they, they um, can't read past that yeah they can't read past that you right. can i think uh i heard that you can rescale them and make them read more right but you can just fit one of these right. which in this size pipe will do i think it's 800 wheel horsepower you hear that everyone Soul's aim for 800 <laughs> wheel horsepower. horsepower. It's never gonna happen. No, it's not. But it will <laughs> mean that um, it's a much crisper signal, and it's right, okay. probably just nice. Probably just work well. I mean, it's taken. I a feel like you were sold an idea. No, no. And it's you, it's taken a 20 year. I'm just jealous because I've got and bringing in all of the shit things that Nissan didn't do, like electronics and maths and shit like that, and giving it a more modern. Thingy. I mean, it's, it's a f drive by wire away from being fucking mint. I don't think I'm going to do that. That's not the point. But you might. I might. Not yet. I've had two. Okay, much right, so you've, you've, you've done some other stuff. But yeah. mainly, the, from the, the top, top down, do you want to go top down, bottom yeah, we'll go. up? So, um, I've had coil packs. Um, I've got a 264 HKS Step 2 cam this side, 272 that side. Um, but you got, then you it's got, got pulley boys. Um, yes, uh, some pulley things. In some there. pulley some things. Pulley things. Um, I have a um, Superforma mechanical chain tensioner, very good. Um, Saruda metal head gasket. Um, I have Sard 850 injectors, uh, CP pistons, manly rods, ACL bearings, polished crank. Um, okay, well, well, well that's first, some stuff. first of all, what's the thickness of the head gasket? 
I was interested in Jim, Jim, Dave Fitness. He Dave, fitted. good one, Dave. Um, Dave did. Dave what, did what that width, measuring thing. What width pistons? Uh, they are stock width. Really? I think yeah. Right. Because okay. the block that Dave supplied I, originally, one of the engines that I supplied to Dave was one of millions. Shit. Um, I gave Dave a literal car full of engines, and he literally threw it all in the bin and started again. Um, and he said that the pistons that I supplied him, um, the CP and Ronnie rods, were too big and the block was dog shit, so he took them away, uh, threw them in the bin, and then gave me stock size everything, made it very, very good. Um, Dave's the kind of person that when he tells you something, you just go, yes, it's correct. Do mm. that, Dave. Yeah, you do you, that. You, Dave knows what he's talking about, yeah. and therefore you do what Dave says. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, we have nice A and lines now everywhere. A yeah. and at the back, A and at the front. A, A and N. A and N. Um, what's this? That is a TD06 20J, uh, but it is also very conveniently onto a T3 manifold, not a three bolt mid mount. It uses the Chinese Mamba rear housing. Oh, this bit? Yes. So the rear housing is a T3 with a V band downpipe. Um, so it makes nice whooshy top mount noises, nice. not, not super mid mount noises. Right, okay, so I was going to say, this is the TDO6, this is a, an odd TDO6 manifold then, isn't it? So it's, no, it it's, a, it's, a jap, it's, a, it's a braced and supported jap speed top mount manifold. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yes, with a um, comp gate on it. Is this comp one gate I, I used to have, or is the same no, one? No, that's my original one, that's been on the car for six years. Right. Is the not, gate welded on? The gate is not welded on. The gate is through bolted on, so it's been drilled. The threads where they always come undone, I've drilled them oh, yeah, and yeah, compressed yeah. it now, so it shouldn't ever come undone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you've also got the Tarx relocation yes, boy. Yes, that's one thing we forgot. It's very, very interesting and good. It gives you so much room for activities. Look at this, look, I can put my hand here. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? That's an impossible Said task. Said absolutely no one. Yeah, impossible task to do. Look, uh, I've, I've right. yet to finish that, because I'm not 100% sure where uh, Well, there's the not a lot of belts and go. pulleys on here. No, 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 no. We've not done belts yet. Um, we've not done stuff. I need to know where I'm going to put the uh, power steering. It's probably going to go here. Yeah. Um, that looked good. I've got a catch can to put in, because this is just a bit of a pipe at the moment. Um, yeah. yeah, it's, look, air filter by air, K&M. Air filter. See, there's a theme here with K&M products. I'm not sure I know how to read a data sheet because... Well, you're clearly not by the size of your... Oh! Stop looking. Um, so, so, yeah, your oil relocation kit here. This was... Um, <whistles> that. That is a big boy. So, so which, which measurement did you accidentally get in a metric and not a um, so, imperial? Um, the company that supplied, Torx, the company that supplied uh, all of the AME bits and the yep. oil filter relocation, yep. Lady Boy, um, it is a three quarters UNF thread. Now, type that in to find filters. Yep. K&N one, I was like, sweet, there you go. I'll buy three of them because you need three for mapping, one for starting, one for running in, one for mapping simple uh didn't read sizes didn't realize until a fucking massive box turned up with those 400 mil long fucking things I've i didn't even know if oil filters that size existed for this fitted fitment of a car i i'm still unsure that it exists and it's not been a special order item for me i don't know <sighs> well i mean it's they were it's cheap on and when you change your oil it will make an absolute fucking mess one thing i have done is increase the capacity of the engine without a wing sump by just fitting yeah it. exactly some people will spend lots of money on a wing sump yep. other people like so will buy a, what a, looks like a two liter bottle of coke <laughs> in and they call it an oil filler i guess there's, there's a, a bit left white wires some Ten some minutes. wires that are needed? 10 minutes, you're right. 10 minutes you're of right. wires. No, um, there's everything has been removed wiring based. I, I know, I can see that there's everything. Because there's very um, little wire. It's all being redone. I started it myself, shit my pants, um, and then gave it to somebody else to fix. Brilliant. Um, that's gonna be the biggest so thing. Really. What's left? Um, lots. Think. Stop. Soul drifting. Oh no, that's the end. Um. <laughs>